Mr. McCoy here with the eighth edition of Mr. McCoy's weekly log entitled The Minstrel Shakedown for the week ending September 30, 2016. Yes, it's warm and toasty here in the Minstrel's medieval hideout. And I'm going to tell you all about what we accomplished this week in the realm of academics. In math, students took four-digit dividends and divided them by two-digit divisors. They used estimation skills to determine whether or not their quotient fell within the range of being reasonable. In reading, we headed down the trail of tears via a recollection from John G. Burnett, who accompanied the Cherokees on this perilous and tragic journey. We also had the opportunity to head to Texas to fight against uh, marauding Mexicans at the Alamo with William Travers. In writing, each student worked to put the finishing touches on his or her narrative. They also had the opportunity to look at each other's narratives in order to determine what clever trick was used to help the reader enjoy what is being written. Then each narrative writer took a clever trick and infused it into his or her own writing. We also looked at narratives written by published authors and look to see what kind of clever tricks those published authors use in order to keep their readers riveted to their writing. In social studies, we continued our trek through the Erie Canal via a recollection by a girl named Elizabeth, a girl who actually traveled along the Erie Canal in the early 1800s. We also had the opportunity to look at the effects of the Trail of Tears and uh, sought to identify the causes and the effects as well. And in science, students used critical thinking skills to balance pennies on a ruler, which served as a lever. And we also had the opportunity to investigate changes in motion. Yes, it's a sour note indeed, but the minstrel is still on the loose. You will see him continue to pop up in this week's edition. Beware but also keep watching. As always, there are great websites in this week's edition. One is from Disney and it's designed to help your child develop speaking strategies along the lines of developing his or her voice. There are also two great math links one of those math links is called Breakaway Math Game, and the other is designed to help your child with algebraic expressions. So please direct your child to those links. Considering that the minstrel is this week's featured villain, it makes sense that we would talk about your child's voice. Now, I'm not talking about how well he or she can sing. I'm talking about how well he or she advocates for himself or herself. Almost daily in Gotham City, I am encouraging my students to advocate for themselves. If there's something they want or need, they need to speak up and not wait for someone else to do it for him or her. The suggestions in this article say your child should speak up if he or she doesn't understand something, or they need help with something, or they want something, or they have an idea or have a solution to a problem or if they were ask a direct question, in Gotham City, it is not okay for a child to shrug his or her shoulders and say, I don't know. If you're asked a question, you need to give an answer. And especially, your child needs to speak up if someone is in danger. So please check out that article. It's called Your Child's Voice. Things are heating up as first quarter begins to wind down. Ooh, boy, it's hot here, too. It, I know exactly what Batman and Robin are going through. Yes, soon we will be having our parent-teacher conference. The schedule can be found in this week's edition. Remember, conferences will be held on Monday, October 17, or Wednesday, October 19. Be sure to access the schedule. The link is in this week's edition. It started with the Phantom Tollbooth, then the Magnificent Mummy Maker, 
And now, the Old Willis Place. Be sure you tune in to the links to the video stories that your child watches on a daily basis. Your child can tell you all about these books and the connections that we've made to writing, book club discussions, reading, and so forth. The links can be found in each week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log. Please tune in. I would imagine that your child is an expert now at bringing home homework on Tuesday and Thursday, completing it, and returning it to school on time. If not, never give up. That is a skill that your child needs to develop, the responsibility that it requires in order to take an assignment home, take the initiative to sit down and complete the assignment, and bring it back to school the next day and turn it in on time. We will talk more about this concept at your child's conference. We will never give up because we give up, we fail, and as long as we don't give up, we can't possibly fail. Next week, it will be the perfect opportunity to see the Catwoman in issue number nine entitled The Cat's Meow to be dispersed to you before Friday, October 7, 2016. Truly catastrophic things are coming.